Oh, grrr. So, um, I know I'm a little bit late, but I just really wanted to talk about it just a little bit. Um, Elizabeth Warren has dropped out of the race. I think it happened about last week. It did happen last week. And um, she's still talking shit about Bernie Sanders supporters. Like, come on, stop. Stop. You're still talking about Bernie Sanders. You're talking about his supporters. Like, no, they're all not mean. They're all not this, that, and the third. Um, so yeah, she's out of the race. Um, so now it's Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, and Tulsi Gabbard. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Tulsi Gabbard and the people who keep saying that the that we're not ready for a woman president, right? They keep saying that. I've, I've heard this over and over and over on Facebook, on social media, blah, 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 right? However, these are the same people who know nothing about Tulsi Gabbard. If you want a woman to be president so bad, if you feel like the time is not for a woman to be president, why don't you know anything about Tulsi Gabbard? You know nothing about her. You know nothing about her, her political stance. You know nothing about her record. All you probably know is that she served in, in the military. That's all you know. You don't know anything else. But yet you're complaining that we're not ready for a woman to be president. No, we just didn't want Elizabeth Warren to be president. That's what it was. And the reason why we didn't want Elizabeth Warren to be president is not because she's a woman. Let's keep it a buck. The reason why we didn't want her to become president is because she's a flip-flop. She said she was for, for she said she was for Medicare for all. She wasn't. She sat there and said she was Native American. She isn't. She sat there and said she got fired because she was pregnant. That's a lie. Like, come on. She sat there and she voted for Trump's uh, military budget increases. All three of them. All three of them. Come on, let's not do this. Let's not sit here and act like like she didn't have, like Elizabeth Warren doesn't have any flaws. Like she didn't become the nominee because she could not be Trump. Point blank and period. Joe Biden, if, if he gets a nomination, will not be Trump. I'm letting you guys know this right now. So don't get mad when Joe Biden loses to Trump. Because Joe Biden will lose to Trump. And this comes to the point where not only the birdies did um Excuse me, did Tulsi Gabbard qualify for the next debate? Because she did. She qualified for the next debate, picking up two delegates in Samoa. So she qualified for the debate, but then they changed the rules last second so she wouldn't be able to be on that debate stage. Then they changed it from a debate to a town hall. Who does that benefit? That doesn't, be, that doesn't benefit Bernie Sanders. Who does that benefit? Joe Biden, the establishment. And what really frustrates me is... The people that I know, like on social media, whatever the case may be, they're okay with the status quo, yet it does not benefit them. I don't understand this. You guys are for the status quo, but it doesn't benefit you. Why? I don't understand this. And again, you guys want there to be a woman president. I've heard that over and over and over again. Tulsi Gabbard's right there. She's right there. And it's funny because these are the same people who who believed what Hillary Clinton said about Tulsi Gabbard, not even knowing anything about Tulsi Gabbard, but they believed what Hillary Clinton said, even though Hillary Clinton is a person who destroyed 32,000 emails and gave 20% of our uranium to Russia. But yet, this is the person that they want to sit here and believe. Then they want us, people like me, to vote for the nominee. Vote blue no matter who. You're bugging. I'm not voting blue no matter who. If it's Joe Biden, it's a dub. I'm not voting for him. I don't care. I don't care. And don't tell me, oh, I should care. I don't care. They didn't care about me. They didn't care about me. They didn't care when they cheated. They didn't care when they did that shit. They didn't care. They did not care back in 2016 when they when they were talking about Bernie supporters and they're still talking about Bernie supporters. 2016, Hillary Clinton said it herself. I don't need their votes. Okay, we didn't vote for her. She said it. She said it. They're still calling Bernie supporters Bernie bros, even though so many of Bernie supporters are not just women. They're people of color. They are gay people who are Bernie supporters. Are you serious? And for the gay people who are voting for, for Joe Biden, shame on you. I'm going to say it. Shame on you. Because when Bernie Sanders was fighting for our rights back in 1986, Joe Biden was making it so we couldn't get married. Joe Biden was making it so we could so that we didn't have rights. We were second class citizens to Joe Biden. You want me to tell you why he, he voted for us to get married? You want me to tell you why? Because it benefited him. Barack Obama, same thing. Benefited him. Because they both were against, and Hillary Clinton were both against same sex marriage. Bernie Sanders was the only one since the 80s who was for gay marriage, fighting for the rights of the un, 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 unenfranchised. It was Bernie Sanders. So shame on you guys. 
Shame on the gays for sitting there voting for Joe Biden. Shame on you guys. Shame, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. This is my opinion. If you don't like it, I'm going to tell you. Shame on the African-American community for voting for, for, for Joe Biden. After he released that crime bill back in the 90s. Shame on you guys. Shame. Shame, shame on the Latin com community as well. Shame on you guys. And the only reason why Bernie Sanders, before anybody even says anything, why Bernie Sanders supported that crime bill was not because of the crime bill, because he rejected it twice before he signed it. Want me to tell you why? He, he ended up signing the crime bill because what did they put into the crime bill? The Violence Against Women Act. That's why he signed that crime bill. Not because he wanted to sign it, because he rejected it twice. He signed it because of the Violence Against Women's Act. That's why. Because they needed Bernie Sanders to sign that bill in order for it to get passed. So you know what? Shame on you guys. Shame on all of you guys for voting for Joe Biden. And I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. And shame on AOC for talking about vote blue no matter who. Shame on her. Shame on her. Shame on AOC. Have a backbone. Seriously, have a backbone. I I, I couldn't be a justice democrat if y'all gonna be a pun, a bunch of punks. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not. You could call that a personal attack. It's not a personal attack. It's more of me making an observation of what the, the, the behavior in which you guys have displayed. And I'm, I'm actually talking about AOC right now. The, when she was on The View, talking about Nancy Pelosi as the mama bear of the DNC. Are you serious right now? You serious? After she mocked you and made fun of you, made fun of the Green New Deal, you're going to sit here and say she's a mama bear. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. Fuck Nancy Pelosi too. I don't care. I don't care. And I'm sick of people saying, oh, stop being so angry. Fuck that shit. You stop being such a fucking pussy. I'm going to say it. Stop being a pussy. We don't have the right to be angry. Are you serious right now? You serious? We don't have the right to be angry. Our education, our education system is for shit. Flint still ain't got no clean water. People are dying left and right because they ain't got health insurance. They're going bankrupt because they have to pay for cancer medication, insulin, things like that. And you want us to not be angry. Are you serious? You're serious right now. That's what you expect. Nah, you're bugging. You're fucking bugging. No. No. And again, I'm telling you, you guys. You guys, if Joe Biden wins the nomination, he's going to lose against Trump. He is. That's just, that's just the reality of the situation. And, but it's something you guys don't want to hear, and I don't understand why. I don't get why. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you guys don't want to hear the truth. It's, it's frustrating for me. It's frustrating back in 2016 when Elizabeth Warren was saying, take out superdelegates, take out superdelegates. Then all of a sudden, now she's saying to keep them because it benefits her. And then she lied. Then she made it seem as if this was the type of, of thing that Bernie Sanders wanted. Oh, they're the part, they're the people who made this happen, so we're just following their rules. No, Bernie Sanders people, they wanted to eliminate superdelegates completely. He had to make a compromise. It's it, it's really sad that this is what it's come down to. And I'm sorry. People can sit here and be mad and oh my god, you know, you you you're not bringing unity to up to the party, this that and the third. First of all, I'm not a democrat. That's number 1. Number 2, you guys are talking about me bringing unity to the party, but Hillary Clinton called Tulsi Gabbard a Russian asset. How was that bringing you? And then you guys believed her with no proof, no evidence. You guys just believed her. But yet you guys are talking about bringing unity to the Democratic Party. But yet you guys believed Tulsi Gabbard was a Russian asset with no proof. Yet again, Hillary Clinton is the one who deleted 32,000 emails and gave Russia 20% of our uranium. But yet you're going to believe her when she says that Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset and Jill Stein? Are you, and then you guys want to talk about bringing unity to the party? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? You have somebody like Elizabeth Warren talking about Bernie Sanders supporters are mean to her, calling her a snake. So fucking what? Get over it. You are in fucking politics. Get the fuck over it. You are in politics. People are actually really getting jumped for real outside. Like getting stabbed, getting punched. Like people are, are getting... Fuck up outside and you're upset because somebody put a snake emoji with your face on it? Are you serious right now, girl? Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Bye. 
You are in politics. You are in politics. Bernie Sanders gets attacked every day. Nina, Nina, Nina Turner just got attacked the other day by a CNN contributor telling her how she should interpret um, Martin Luther King's um, speech. Nina Turner, a black woman, got attacked for that. But you guys are talking about bringing unity to the Democratic Party? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck that shit. That's the problem. You guys want to be a, a bunch of fucking pussies. I don't know what, what what's going on in this world where everybody's a fucking punk. Everybody's scared to speak their mind. Like nobody, because oh my God, people got to go to their safe space. I don't care if you're a Democrat, you're a Republican, you're a conservative, you're a liberal. Oh my God, you can't speak that way. Fuck that shit. I'm going to say however the fuck I feel. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to speak facts. I feel a certain way because of the actions that this person has shown. I don't feel this way just because. There was a point where I was actually for Elizabeth Warren. It was either Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders. Then I found out what kind of a person Elizabeth Warren is. She went back on Medicare for all. She had, she declined in the, in, 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 in the in polling. Then it was Tulsi Gabbard and Bernie Sanders. I was still up for Tulsi Gabbard at least beyond that debate stage. You guys want to bring unity to the party. Why don't you guys talk about that? How she qualified for the debate, but then they just snatched that shit away from her. You guys don't want to talk about that though, right? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Because you guys know that Tulsi Gabbard is the one who fucked up Kamala Harris. She destroyed her. And she would have done the same thing to Elizabeth Warren months ago. Like I like I said, had the CNN contributors, the commenta commentators had not interrupted her. And Tulsi Gabbard is the only one who probably has the fucking cojones to bring down Joe Biden. Because Bernie Sanders ain't going to do it. I love Bernie Sanders, but he's a pussy too. He's a pussy. He's a pussy. Joe Biden is my friend. Fuck that shit. You don't have any friends, Bernie. This is, this is a primary. Stop, stop talking like that. Stop being a fucking pushover. Stop. No, like don't say Joe Biden is your friend. He's not your fucking friend. He made you sign a crime bill that you are against. And the only reason why you signed it was because he put something in there that he knew you were passionate about. Everything else in that crime bill was for shit. And you knew it. That's why you didn't sign it at first. This man was for the Iraq war. You wasn't. You were not. This man has tried to eliminate Social Security and Medicaid a number of times. You have stand in, in, that, in those picket lines with those people. So we can keep our Social Security. So we can keep our Medicaid, Medicare. And this man is your friend? Are you fucking serious? This man, none of the Democrats are your friends. Hillary Clinton just said that nobody likes you. So if nobody likes you, how are they your friends? And this is what Hillary Clinton said. And then she wants to talk about bringing unity to the party. And people can sit there and say, oh, well, Bernie Sanders isn't a Democrat. But he stands for democracy. So what does it matter what party he falls under? What does it matter? What does it matter? I don't understand that. And it's funny, it's, it's crazy to me because the only reason why people are not for Medicare for All is because it doesn't affect them. A lot of people in New York, it doesn't affect people in New York like that. It really doesn't. You could get Medicaid like that in New York. Don't have a job. That's it. You get Medicaid like that. It's not easy in the in, 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 in center in, in the center of America. It's not. People are making seven dollars and twenty-five cents. That's what they are living on. Seven dollars in Puerto Rico, part of the United States, making seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Yet the tax rate in Puerto Rico is actually higher than ours. Theirs is eleven point two five. Ours is at eight point nine. But their minimum wage is $7.25. Why isn't that being spoken about? It's just sad to me that people don't really care. They sit there and act like they do, but they don't. Learn about these politicians. Learn about their records before you sit there and talk shit. That's, that's just what it is. Stop. If you want a woman to be president, look up Tulsi Gabbard. Look up her record. Look up her policy. Look up what she stands for. Then make a educational decision. Make a, a rational decision on who you want to who you want to represent you. Somebody's sex, somebody's orientation, something, whatever, that should not play a role in who you elect as your president. It shouldn't. It should not. And again, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote last time. So stop saying a woman cannot be president. It's bullshit. 
It's fucking bullshit. And again, if you want a woman to be president, look up Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard. It's not hard. It's really not. It's not. Well, these are just my thoughts. I'm really pissed off because people are talking so much shit. They're not doing their research. Stop talking shit without doing your research. Like, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. And I, and I stand by everything I said about the Democrats, about Bernie Sanders, about AOC. Point blank, the end of period. No shade. But these, just as Democrats, are a lot of my pussies. Sorry. They punks. They pushovers. And people can sit there and get mad for me using that vulgar language. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. It's about time somebody like me, who's a true progressive, says I don't give a fuck about feelings. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.